Hello and welcome to Doc Clay's Chemistry Lessons. Today we're going to look at fractional distillation and cracking. And by the end of this lesson you should be able to describe fractional distillation, explain the economic reasons for cracking, and finally you should be able to describe thermal and catalytic cracking and the differences in product between the two processes. So fractional distillation is a process that takes crude oil which is a mixture of hydrocarbons and it separates those hydrocarbons by heating them up above their boiling point so it vaporizes the crude oil at the bottom of the plant. Anything that doesn't vaporize immediately drops out. So those things with a boiling point of greater than 350 degrees Celsius, um, such as bitumens, lubricating oils, they go off at the bottom of the distillation column. There's then a temperature gradient as we go up with high temperatures at the bottom and lower temperatures at the top. And as the gases pass up through the column, they then cool at different temperatures. They condense, and depending on their boiling point, will condense at different parts of the column. Those with the lowest boiling points will make it all the way to the top of the column, and they are short chain hydrocarbons, things like methane, ethane, propane and butane. These are fuel gases. Those with a slightly higher boiling point, C4 to C12, things like gasoline, petrols for cars, make it nearly to the top. Then we have things like naphtha for the petrol chemicals, up to C14. Kerosene, the jet fuel, longer carbon chains again, and finally we have diesel fuels at the bottom. And so we have low temperature at the top, or low boiling points at the top, and we have shorter chain hydrocarbons towards the top, and long chain hydrocarbons to the bottom. The process again, vaporised, the gases and the gases are then cooled and they condense at different boiling points with the shorter chain hydrocarbons making it further up the fractional distillation column. Cracking is important because crude oil contains a lot of long chain hydrocarbons and less short chain hydrocarbons so what we need to do is to break some of the long chain carbon carbon bonds and create more useful more highly demanded shorter chain molecules so short chain hydrocarbons are in higher demand and cracking allows us to make these shorter molecules and there's two types of cracking that we need to know about there's thermal cracking and catalytic cracking thermal cracking then takes place at high temperatures at around a thousand degrees Celsius 
and high pressure around about 70 atmospheres and the long chain hydrocarbons are heated and produce lots of short chain alkenes These are particularly useful to make things such as polymers and plastics. For example, cracking decane would end up producing, perhaps as an example, would be ethene, which is a short chain hydrocarbon, and a longer chain hydrocarbon there. C8H18. Catalytic cracking, on the other hand, as the name suggests, is done at a lower pressure and lower temperature, so therefore it's a saving on costs. It's still done at a reasonably high temperature of about 450 degrees Celsius, but now tends to use a zeolite catalyst and this is important if you've done this in laboratory you might have used uh, porcelain chips but in industry which is what the exam board will be interested in you're going to be using a zeolite catalyst and these tend to form motor fuels so longer chain but useful hydrocarbons and also some aromatic compounds. So you should now be able to describe fractional distillation, explain the economic reasons for cracking, and finally describe thermal and catalytic cracking and the differences in products between these two processes.